At Lost Harvest, what we want to do is make wines that have a lot of energy and that are delicate, but are also precise. And what we do is when we find a vineyard and we make the wine for the first time is we try to make it a couple different ways so that we can see how that wine wants to be made. This guy, just by the dingle, just by doing a little dingle work, I know this has about one more week and then we're gonna harvest it and make, and that's still early. We like to harvest our fruit early. We're looking to make wines that have a lot of finesse, and the way we get to that is by picking a little bit earlier, so we have a little bit less sugar, it allows for a little bit lower alcohol, and we also have a little bit more acidity. We like to break the different blocks, different vineyards, and the idea is to make a bunch of really delicious pieces and put them together, and you, you end up with a cohesive, highly delicious finished wine. We wanted each label to represent the wine that's inside. So we asked some of our best friends to create unique pieces of art that paired with the wine. For example, the Jen Stark art on our sparkling wine just kind of goes hand in hand while you're drinking that beautiful wine and looking at her amazing artwork. It's kind of a whole experience. We like to use alternative vessels for fermenting and aging. We use stainless steel tanks, a couple different sizes of amphora, concrete eggs, several large format sizes of barrels, and then normal small size barrels as well. What's exciting this year is we got a new amphora that was actually made locally. They threw the clay in Yauntville and they fired the amphora in Carneros. So it's all within like a 20 mile radius of, of where we are. And all of these different vessels give us different textures that allow us to build complexity into our wines. When we started in 2015, we started with mainly just four different wines based on Carignan and Cabernet. And now we are playing with all these interesting vineyards, varieties, terroirs. And what we're trying to do is just, it's an exploration. It's trying to see what we can do in the world of wine. And it's, it's so much fun.